What's up guys? So today we're gonna work on the rust on the floor. I bought an angle grinder attachment that's this like massive wire wheel. And I'm hoping that that will clean up the rust. The good thing about the rust is that it's all kind of surface level. Most of it's very brittle. It's just sitting on the, the surface of the metal floor. And what's funny is you can actually take a hammer and just bang the floor and most of it just comes right off but that wire wheel is going to get down into like the pores of the metal and really get all of that loose rust and debris off the floor so that we can prep the floor for paint it's going to be a dirty job but it's got to get done <laughs> Okay, so I won't bore you guys anymore with that riveting content, but I did get the floor completely grinded down and all the rust swept away. It's off the floor, all that stuff. So I'm out here working on some of the like edges and corners that still have a little bit of debris, wood, clumps of glue, stuff like that. You see my little piles there. I'm uh, making a little progress. It's kind of rough on my fingers though. This is the last thing that we have to do before our next really big fun part though, where we paint um, and waterproof the floor. So there's a national coin shortage right now, and here we are about to use how many pennies are in here, do you think? At least 100. To patch the holes in the floor. It's the cheapest way, but it also kind of makes me feel bad because this cup of pennies could go to a restaurant in need or a business in need. We and are here also we are people in need of pennies. Using, <laughs> you know, precious coin. <laughs> during a shortage. Some people make whole floors out of pennies, so. Well, that's At least true. we're not doing that. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> hey, Joel. What you doing? Coming in. And he heard me, and she told Mama.
is so gross. Do not quit your day job. spot that's a bondo spot and I got another little spot over there on that wheel well because of the location of that one that would have been really hard to weld these are some of the patches that we glued onto the floor those will hold water out just as good as the one that I welded so I figured instead of just welding it if it's gonna work the same why not just do it this way And then, oh, ow, you have to watch your head in the bus. Oh, God.